I was doing some night hog hunting in the woods near my backyard. I was hiding in the tower I had built about a decade ago. In case anyone's wondering, I of course had a night vision scope attachment. I guess I'm what you would consider a hardcore hunter. I don't want to bore you with the unnecessary story prolonging details, so I'll make this short. And I want everyone to know that though I agree this story sounds far-fetched and crazy, it is nothing but the truth. And I in a way actually consider myself lucky that I'll always have such a horrifying story to share. So, while I was sitting in the tower waiting for movement, it finally came. I took aim and found the source. But it wasn't at all a hog, or any kind of animal I was expecting. It was a person. A man wearing all black. Black sweatpants, black shoes, and a black hoodie with the hood over his head. But that wasn't the freakiest part. He was dragging a sack behind him. My heart started racing. I was pretty sure I was witnessing this guy trying to bury a body. I continued to watch him. But then he slowed down. And I swear to God, it looked as if he turned his head up to me. I ducked down under the wooden walls of the tower, shaking in my boots. Yes, I had a gun, but just the idea of using it against a person is horrifying. I lay low, praying to God that he hadn't seen me. It wouldn't make sense if he could, though. It's practically pitch black out here. Or at least, that was my logic. Seconds felt like an eternity as I waited for the footsteps in the leaves to move elsewhere, but I didn't hear any footsteps. All I heard was... The sound of a foot hitting one of the wooden planks on the ladder of the tower. I felt the entire tower vibrate and shake as there were two more steps moving up the ladder. At this point, I was asking myself deep down, am I going to be able to shoot someone? But for some reason, whoever was down there decided not to climb all the way up, as I heard them jump back down to the forest ground and began dragging the sack away. I think I stayed frozen like a statue for at least 10 minutes before even peeking over the ledge again. The coast seemed clear. I had to get home and warn the police immediately. I hopped over the ledge and descended down the ladder. I turned on my pocket flashlight, which in hindsight was a stupid move considering the situation, and ran back in the direction of my house. I was only able to run for about 10 seconds or so when I heard the rapid, manic footsteps crunching the leaves from behind me. I took a look over my shoulder, and there he was, inches away from my face. I spun around and shot him in the shoulder. He stopped and screamed in agony, and I took that moment to finish my dash to my house. Again, in hindsight, I should have held him hostage somehow, but that doesn't even matter now. I called the police, who showed up within 15 minutes with a whole search squad, and I led them all into the woods to the exact location where I shot him. There was a faint yet noticeable blood trail spilled onto the leaves which led past the body bag, which the cops seized, and eventually right to the maniac who was hiding under a log next to a tree. He was arrested and tried for the murder of Jin Quen Sakanaki, a Japanese corner store owner. I don't know the full story behind it, but I do know I won't forget this one for the rest of my life, and I'll also be telling it for the rest of my life.